This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Thursday, the 14th of November. I'm Michael Groff. Dry conditions, temperatures above average, and periods of mid and high level clouds. That'll be the rule around here for the next several days. But a change in the weather pattern finally starts to take place by the middle of next week. Cooler temperatures and a chance at some rain. Let's find out more details about that. We'll dive in, talk about it. First, the almanac from yesterday, 79 degrees, the high in the valley. 58 was the morning low, the normals, 77 and 54. Outside now here at 625 a.m., clear skies out there. 57 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 37, humidity 47%. The winds are light. The barometer is rising. Temperatures out there this morning. 42 at Goldfield, that's the cool spot, 43 Fort McDowell, 47 at Gilbert, 48 Buckeye. In Arcadia, where I am, my thermometer reads 53 at present. The upper air look across the country, we've got a trough in the east, a trough approaching the west coast, a little ridge here across the southwest, and that's going to keep us dry, but we will see an increase in high clouds later today. The watch warning map is suspiciously quiet for mid-November, some dense fog advisories across parts of Montana this morning, and that's about it. Convective outlook, of course, also quiet, no organized severe weather, a little thunder possible across parts of Florida, and the precipitation outlook valid through next Thursday morning. From the WPC, rain amounts in Phoenix around a quarter of an inch with heavier totals for the mountains, the higher terrain. Let's talk about why that is as we take a look at the models here. Check it out. The GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's our weak ridge. We've got a trough approaching the west coast. And so high clouds will be on the increase, but for the most part, down at the surface today, sunny this morning, then an increase in clouds this afternoon. High temperatures in the low 80s tonight, mostly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s to about 60 or so. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Again, mid and high level clouds, no rain out of any of this. High temperatures in the low 80s. Saturday, partly sunny. High temperatures, again, should be in the low to middle 80s, as we'll see another ridge building here across the southwest. That little wave that passes by and brings those clouds in here, the tail end of that will break off and form a closed low by about Sunday. That'll be sitting off the Baja Spur, but not going to have too much of an impact on our weather. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny conditions will prevail for Sunday and Monday with high temperatures in the low to middle 80s. By Tuesday, here comes a trough moving down the west coast. That's going to pick up our cutoff low and start to move it our direction. Clouds on the increase. I think the day on Tuesday stays dry, though. High temperatures around 80 by Tuesday night and Wednesday. We'll start to see some moisture increase for a chance of rain. This is not a particularly dynamic system, and it's not going to tap into deep tropical moisture, but certainly enough for Fairly widespread light precipitation. At this point, we're going with a 40% chance of rain for next Wednesday. That may need to be adjusted upward. Hopefully so. We really desperately need some rain in here. Highs would be in the low 70s. The sky mostly cloudy. And that rain and high elevation snows. Again, this is a fairly warm system, so the snow level should stay at or above about 7,000 feet. All right, let's go out to a week from today. This is Thursday the 21st and that still looks unsettled with cooler conditions highs below normal and go now 10 days to the end of the forecast period this is saturday the 23rd a weak transitory ridge coming through temperatures fairly close to average maybe even slightly below normal and certainly the pattern does look to be changing toward cooler and more unsettled conditions finally all right, let's check out those temperatures through the period coming off of the European Ensemble. Highs above average through early next week, and then we'll see temperatures cooling off. You see by Wednesday, we cool off, and then beyond that, closing out the month of November, highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s and 50s. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll be alerted. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Be safe out there and have a wonderful Thursday.